Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Top 5 Moments video. Now this is the, I don't know, what is this, 8th, 9th, and final Top 5 Moments in Assassin's Creed video I will be doing. And of course, it is in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now I've done all of them as of this video, and maybe I will, when the next future games come out, do their own top five moments video, but that is a long time from now. So, without further ado, guys, let's get right into this final video top five moments in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. At number five, it is Jacob and Evie Banter. Now, this is, I guess, you can think of throughout the whole game, but I want to specifically talk about when we're being introduced at the start of the game to Jacob and Evie. Of course, they each have their own separate missions in the first sequence, so you can get to know the character's playstyle and all that. But my favourite part of it all was just the honestly comedy of their relationship as brother and sister. I found myself laughing constantly, especially at the start of the game with just their little banter, them deciding that they're going to leave Crawley and go out to London and try to stop the Templars, and the fact that, you know, Evie is the, what you call, I guess, book smart intelligent one that has the plan, and Jacob's just like, ah, oh, we'll figure it out as we go, who really cares? And the whole, oh, I'll start a gang, we'll call them the Rooks, and they'll totally solve everything. And Evie's just like, look, you're not starting a gang called the Rooks, shut up, bro. And it's just, it's honestly hilarious. Uh, Paul Amos and Victoria Atkin killed it with their performances, and I loved this part of the game and getting to know these characters in my favourite way, which was their banter between each other and just their hilariousness overall. At number four, it is Project Phoenix Revealed. Now, we heard about the Shroud, the Assassins and Templars trying to get the Shrouds and all this stuff going on, and Project Phoenix had been this rumoured thing for years. I mean, at one point, the community thought it was a game itself, or maybe a comic book or something like that, but it's actually an in-game Abstergo project that they're trying to build Isu. They're trying to build first Civ DNA and they're using it and using sages to try to construct it to unlock the secrets of the pieces of Eden and now they've got a shroud that they can try to use to help heal properties and reconstruct that sort of genetic DNA so it's just holy shit that's what they're doing they're trying to actually build it but then you again get to see that Juno's still in the grey and she has her own influence and she's pulling the strings certainly on some situations as it is, so you get to see how she's influenced some of those Abstergo agents, as well as getting to see the whole reveal of what exactly Project Phoenix is, and it doesn't look good. At number three, burn them all. So, we have the assassination at the end of, I believe, sequence eight, where you have to assassinate Maxwell Roth. And he pretty much in this theater, you're doing this whole chase around. Now, throughout the sequence, you kind of work with him. He's kind of your friend in some ways, but then you realize you can't make friends with this dude. He is a bad, bad guy. So you try to find him and kill him, and he goes, fuck this, burn them all. He burns down this theater after the performance, and he's just screaming, burn, burn, burn. And Jacob's like, well, I'm going to fucking kill you. But... It's this cool, weird sequence because not only is it a cool moment and assassination with Jacob, but also Maxwell Roth is a super interesting character in the game. And getting to see that dialogue as well after the assassination and him just kind of go off and he even kisses Jacob at one point and he's just all happy. He's kind of like a Joker-esque character with just his insanity and he just wants to do crazy shit just because he can. It is awesome awesome. At number two it is May I Have This Dance. That's Staric, our main Grandmaster of the Templar Order, and his dance number with Evie. I know that sounds fucking bizarre when I say it in those words, but it's pretty much this really amazing tension-filled scene where Staric is dancing with Evie at Buckingham Palace in this party, and Evie just met the Queen and now she has to dance with her arch enemy, the Grandmaster of the Templars. And it's just this amazing dialogue and the way the music's building. And you could just, you could cut the tension like a knife through butter. It was intense. 
you know, it was just a, an amazing scene. I love, it was kind of a Western-esque type scene is what it felt like. And Evie in the end kicks him in the nuts. But you notice halfway through that Evie's necklace is gone with a key on it. And you're like, oh shit, starek has got your necklace. What a smart bastard. At number one, it is Edward Kenway's mansion. This may be just kind of a generic scene in the middle of the game, but it's my favorite mission of the game where you get to go through Edward Kenway's mansion and you find all these artifacts from Assassin's Creed 4 and Edward's life and as well getting to find the secrets inside the mansion. It, it just shows you the impact that Edward Kenway as a character had on the Assassin's Creed world and you get to see Jacob's interaction and how the assassins talk about this master assassin from back in the day. One of my favorite characters is Edward Kenway, so to get to see his impact on the game is amazing. Get to experience where he lived after Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flags events, where Haytham grew up. Just this is a very important location. I'm so happy that we got to see it and we show the impact on London. And you get to see all these secret stuff and all the things that Edward left behind and his information on the Shroud. It's just an amazing mission. So, like, filled with just fan service. I absolutely loved it. Definitely my favorite moment and mission from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So that's that guys, that's my top five moments in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's my final top five moments video for Assassin's Creed. Thank you all so much for supporting this series. I've had a blast making it and it's been and had such a great response from you guys. So I really appreciate that. Of course, leave your top five moments in Syndicate in the comments section below. And leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Thank you again guys for supporting this series. And we'll continue with more videos on this channel very very soon. So guys, thank you again and I will see you later.